wanna play rough? Yo, so what is going on guys and girls? It's your boy Repo Rog out here in the middle of the fucking desert here. It's so bloody hot, it's unbelievable. I'm sweating my tits off, you can see I'm all shining and shit. Anyway, the latest Fortnite update guys, okay? Version 5.10... 6724789 I think it is but yeah without further ado guys let's get on with the video okay guys so this is a uh, patch version 5.10 I think it is uh, happy birthday Fortnite fans okay so I think it's their first birthday they put on here that it's birthday number one now I'm pretty sure I've been playing it longer than a year but I'm not 100% sure how long this game has been out uh, but they're bringing a few new patches as well here so the playground uh, the Battle Royale Playground mode is back as well. That comes out tomorrow, Wednesday, 25th, uh, 25th of July. So that's going to be pretty good. But this time, you're going to—they uh, allow you to set up the squad teams, uh, so practice and training. So that's going to be pretty good. Uh, they're also bringing out a uh, compact SMG uh, for Battle Royale. Uh, to me, it looks like a, looks like the P90 or something like that. You know, big round magazine. Uh, 50 rounds probably something along those lines uh, yeah it looks pretty good probably a, a massive high rate of fire thing as well so they're bringing the close range gunfights getting rid of the double pump and bringing in the SMGs and stuff like that so I'm liking that idea that they've got there what else have they got okay so they've got new default key bindings for new players okay changed countdown times to display more useful information okay so when new skins uh, and new equipment and items come out into the into the shop they're gonna give you a proper countdown rather than just a specified one shows hours instead of days when under 72 hours uh, okay so it doesn't show you the two or three days there it will just show you the hours the restore button has been removed from the setting screen also the reset defaults button has been renamed to reset so that's pretty good Leaving the setting screen before applying changes will give the option to apply changes and exit or discard changes and exit. So that instead of just if you forget to save it, then that's pretty good as well. Double clicks now register as two clicks on a button, allowing for faster navigation through next and slash previous type of buttons. Can they fix a few bugs as well in the in the latest update? Items on the ground will properly have their stack counts updated if the stack size changes while the player is currently looking at them. Now this is one for me, I, I kind of like the practice on this, I like the actual practice game mode that they added, but then they, they removed that playground practice mode away, um, uh, you know, and now it's back guys, and I'm so pleased about that, it's coming out I think tomorrow, uh, 25th, so obviously when, you, you know, when you're, you're getting your mats and stuff like that, we all know we've all played it, it gives you so much more mats, so it gives you time to practice. Um, you know, and it's, it's just good fun with your mates. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to die all the time and stuff like that. And you can just spawn from the air, obviously, as well. Okay, practice with the weapons and their items. Fight against your friends. This mode returns with improvements for a limited time on Wednesday. So, obviously, it's a limited time thing again. So, I'm not sure why they're bringing this in, bringing it out, bringing it in. Just leave it in the damn game, guys. You know, it's a good mode. People like it. People play it. Leave it in the game. Let people practice the game. But, you know, they're going to probably put it in for two or three days and then bloody remove it again, so whatever. Um, okay, what's new? Players can now switch teams in-game on this uh, playground mode, okay? So you can join the same team to work together creatively, join separate teams to practice fighting each other. Matches will no longer end if the player leaves the server, so that's pretty good because nobody likes to swap the servers over halfway through the game. The golf carts have been added and spawn 100% of the time. Ammo can spawn 10 times the amount of ammo. Removed grey vending machines increases the chance of higher tier machines spawning. Increased launch and bounce pad spawn likelihood. Lowered force glider deploy. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. So players can get back into the action more quickly. Increased more rocket ammo up to 60. Increased rocket ammo drop rates, added 100 supply drops, chest snail spawns, three weapons, and more ammo and consumable than normal. Floor loot now spawns three times. Increased chug chug and slurp uh, juice spawn chances, decreased bandages. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty good as well. So more chug chugs. Added chug chugs to floor loot, respawn timer now from 10 to 3 seconds. So, nice and fast, guys. The idea of that is lovely and quick, lovely and fast. You get killed, you're back in the fight. You get killed, you're back in the fight. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. 
Players respawn immediately unless eliminated by the storm. The storm doesn't start closing in for 55 minutes and take 5 minutes to close in. Resources gained from harvesting increasing by 10 times the normal amount. 100 llamas will be spawned on the map. That's great, isn't it, guys? Eh? 100 llamas, man. Chest and ammo boxes spawn 100% of the time. Okay, so now weapons and items. Compact SMG added. So yeah, quite a few things that they've added. Um, they've also, the supply drop loot rates have adjusted as well. So the percentages have gone down in the loot rates. Uh, what else is there? There's a few other things as well, but you know what? See, the, what gets me is the, the fact, I think it's a good idea that they're making the game a lot, lot quicker. Okay, so what they've done is they've put the wood wall starting health, okay, so, and the stone and, and metal walls, okay, or a different kind of building materials. So instead of starting at 100, they're starting at lower rates now. So if you're in a quick battle and you need to build quickly, there's, that reduces the chances of people camping because the start health starts at 80. So if you're already trying to fight, you're fighting someone and they put up a wall. Basically, you get the idea that it starts at 80 instead of 100, so you've already lost that 20, uh, 20 health on the wall there. Yeah, so that's about it, guys, uh, for the new version 5.10 patch. Um, I didn't cover everything, guys. If you want to read it, just uh, just go into the uh, Epic Games you know, the page and stuff like that, and you can have a quick read of everything that they've changed. Just wanted to make a few pointers. So, yeah, it'll be interesting now. Uh, I'll see you in the game. I'm just going to leave you with a few kills from my old mate, Bart. Uh, big up to your butt and uh, just enjoy the video guys. It's your boy Repo Roger. <laughs>